Abel Wallman, the father of environmental engineering, he made the point that we're trying to solve public health crises and looking at things like diseases in the developing world and we can't make any appreciable progress in those if people don't have clean water to wash with and clean drinking water. And so I was initially attracted to environmental engineering because you know, you're, you're using these skills to solve problems that affect everyone you know, on our planet. In Dr. Bauer's lab, we're trying to find ways to remove pharmaceuticals and personal care products from treated wastewater so that it can then be reused either to apply as irrigation for fields or uh, use as an input possibly for drinking water treatment. The research that we're doing with looking at soil aquifer treatment is particularly used in the American Southwest where you don't have a lot of surface water. So a, a great source of water would be reusing the wastewater in those areas. I think it's really exciting that here, here I am as an undergraduate and I'm involved with you know, graduate students and professionals doing this research that really has the potential to be very important for bringing clean drinking water to people everywhere. And here at Hopkins, now I'm taking you know, a class with Reds Wolman, is the son of Abel Wolman, and is also you know, an absolute leader in his, his field as a geomorphologist. You know, we use the expression that he wrote the book, and he, he really did, quite a few of them. There's a lot of schools where you just don't get these opportunities. But I had other competitive merit scholarships uh, to other schools. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a difficult decision because I was attracted to the strength of you know, our department and the Hopkins experience. Well, once I got the scholarship, it really lifted a lot of weight from my shoulders with the situation. There's no way that I would be here today without having received the scholarship. And I just felt like I had benefited a lot from the admissions office, which is why I decided to volunteer with them to kind of give back. So I work with the Student Admissions Advisory Board, and primarily what we do is e-recruitment. And we also help out at all the open houses to let students know everything that Johns Hopkins has to offer. I'm making the best of my years here at Hopkins. While I'm building these friendships that will last a lifetime, I'm also gaining the knowledge that will be so important for my career and the life ahead of me. I mean, despite the advancements that you know, we've made in the last hundred years of clean water and chlorination and things like that. Even today, every 15 seconds a child dies from a waterborne illness. And there's so much progress to be made and I, I really hope that my training and the background that I'm getting here at Johns Hopkins will help to save lives in the future.